president of Zam or residents rather of Zamimbilo in formal settlements. Uh, apologies near south of Johannesburg, say they are relieved now that law enforcement agencies are conducting regular raids at the settlement there. City of Johannesburg MMC for Public Safety, Dr. Mdrini Twako, is in the area leading a Joburg Metro Police operation targeted at Zamazamas. Last weekend, five suspected illegal miners were shot and killed by rival Zamazama gang fighting over illegal mining territory in Riverley. Let's now welcome Dr. Mdrini Twako, the City of Johannesburg MMC for Public safety for more on the operations in the area. Doctor, a very good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Do tell us more about your Manje Namhlanje campaign out in Riverley. Uh, good evening, uh, Alicia. Sorry, we're, we're a bit tired and we're trying to log in and, uh, and I'm really sorry about that. Look, um, the Riverley operation at the Zanetti, yes, we did start there. Uh, we did a search and seizure looking for rifles and all of that. And also looking for the holes. There are some, uh, they've been alleged that there's some holes where the Zamazama, they kill it going there and the rival gang. But uh, between me and you, actually now people, it will be not a secret anymore. It was a diversion. Because um, my intelligence, the, 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 the intel told us that there is a meeting that was happening at Amatole at about 11 o'clock. So we were actually getting ready to really, you know, to actually come here. So after we've done the Zanembilo, we immediately decide, come decide, the whole units, the K-9 unit, the IOC unit, uh, we had, uh, you know, uh, the POPs was here and all of that. So we, we actually exchanged fire with plus minus 100 uh, uh, people, the, the, like the, the, the Zama, Zama, plus, plus minus 100 of them. Many of them went inside the holes. We, we actually exchanged fire. We managed to arrest three. And then we, we actually um, constituted a gun, it's a rifle, and uh, six bullets as well. Mm. Um, so, yeah, so what we, what we are doing now, and that, 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 that is what's been done, we have discovered a very, another, again, another big, you know, I can call it a beneficiation area here. Uh, I'm a Pendukas, you're looking at about 20 Pendukas. We, we've actually even discovered more holes. We've got plus, minus, in my estimate, about 15 holes deep uh, where they actually go inside and actually, they're actually going to come out. So this is another hot spot. It's very big one at Amatoli mm. in here. So, yeah, so the, the, uh, the, the community, Alicia, they were very happy because Amatoli we've been getting, it has been close to my heart because Amatoli, remember, I commented at some point that this is where the Zamazamas are taking women from the community and rape them in the in the in the mountains. Look, and then also now, sorry? Yes, yes MMC, I just in the interest of time, I mean, you've also accused the SAPs of failing to support the city's undercover operations that are aimed at, of course, dealing with the illegal miners out in Riverley. There's also allegations that some might be working with the Zamazamas and even an incident where an alleged kingpin went to a police station and demanded his bags of loot and it was just handed to him without, without him being apprehended. This is really concerning, MMC. What have you un uncovered in this regard? Look, uh, Alicia, it's something that we were, um, I spoke to the provincial commissioner yesterday. It's not all lost, I told him. I said that there is still a chance. We must do these operations, all of us. And then I told that all the information I got, I'm going to send it to him. There are some information I got because my intelligence, all my informers around the area, they've been sending us information about that issue that you are t -t 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 talking about. Mm -hmm. There is an allegation. If you go anywhere, it's not it's an open city, it's not, a, it's not a secret anymore. Go to any community, even here. When, they, when we were coming in, they said, oh, yeah, you're not going to do anything. And then we exchanged fire as well. We arrested so many people here, and we are turning the place upside down. All right. So, look, um, it does happen. Uh, but uh, look, um, we, we are appealing to actually them. Sakina asked me a question. He said, you yourself, you, 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 MMC, what are you doing? I showed her yesterday what I'm going to do. And these operations are going to be very hectic. Mm. And I'm inviting serfs, I'm inviting serfs to, to, to come behind me. I'm going to lead it. They just came now as well. I think I've got three as well coming in now. But we've got all the units here. All the right. Zamazamas, 
I'm going to be back to back, fire by fire. I'm, I'm, I'm on to it with actually there. MMC, how long will your operations remain in the area and that kind of extra support? Like, what kind of extra support do you need? We hear that shortly after the raid yeah. with the Minister of Police, you still were able to uncover additional equipment that is used in illegal mining. And also, uh, the DMRE announced yesterday that they're going to be shutting some of those entry points into those mines uh, by September. Uh, my suggestion to the to the minister of Putin and all the law enforcement, let all officers who are on shift, who are on leave, everyone must come out. Let us spread out in all areas with that hot spot of the Zamazamas where these gangs are. We need all of us, they, they, everyone, we must put a budget, we must have some intensive allowances and get all the people who are not on shift to come out. We need manpower. Uh, we can't do this alone. So I appeal to, you know, to the uh, minister, and also I've spoken to the chief of police, that we might consider as well that everyone who's on leave and on shift, we must come out. We're going to do this operation the whole of this month. is going to be back to back. The thing is, we are distracting here. We're taking all the equipment, we're closing the hole. So we are disrupting the operation. So they're going to be, you know, frustrated. We're confiscating many materials. We are closing the holes. So these are these operations when Alicia, they're gonna go all like that. You can see them even now. They're they're looking at us there. You see them in the mountains everywhere. All and right. then, but another thing another thing is we are going to be here tonight because uh, at the community that they said that uh, they are afraid that because we've done this operation, these people might come and do a raid and shoot them inside here. So it means that uh, we are not going to go anywhere. It means that we might have to cross night here at I'm at, uh, I'm, I'm at we were going to ask for more uh, uh, units, not other, you know, units all right. with a night vision and all those kind of stuff so that we're able to really uh, fight these issues, guys. All right, MMC, thank you so much for your time. We're going to definitely be tracking that story for you. That was the city of Johannesburg, MMC of Public Safety, Dr. Mgini Tuaku, who is currently in Amatol in the Rivalier area, conducting a campaign to eradicate illegal miners in the areas there.